man, looks like storm of the century is coming. What's up YouTube land? Just another day in quarantine paradise. Any words? Wanted to show you something. Fresh off the trailer. Finally bit the bullet and uh, bought a new air compressor. Got the old Quincy 60 gallon QT 54. It should fit nicely right here. So I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff, get rid of that shelf, and then I'll hook it up into here so it's pretty straightforward. There's a ground that goes behind here like on this screw and then your two hots go here and then you put the cover back on and flip the switch flip the switch there and this thing should start pumping it's a v-twin so it should sound pretty sweet maybe like uh hillbilly harley or something anyways there's the part number and stuff if you're interested in it they plumb half inch there's a ball valve here so this would you know energize your line it also has a nice drain at the foot here so you could plumb that looks like uh, 3 8 maybe yeah really nice build quality all made here in America ball door five horse so plenty of ball bags underneath the hood there for this thing so we're gonna get it wired up hopefully soon I don't know if I'll bore you with those details, but we'll probably do something temporarily. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll figure out something, and you'll see that momentarily. Okay, I got it temporarily wired up here. I plugged this end, and I just put on a uh, quick disconnect there just to see if it builds pressure. So I'll flip this, and then flip this, and hopefully it starts and doesn't blow up. First time. It's pretty quiet. Smooth sounding. Now it looks like we got a leak. Right here, it doesn't look like there's any thread sealing on that. I'm gonna turn this off, because we wanna take that valve out. Too bad I don't have any air filters to blow off. All right, just as I figured, it looks like, yeah, they didn't put anything on here. A little bit of grease, like what the hell? So, all right, I'm going to put some Permatex stuff on here. I'll clean that off good, and we'll thread that back in and flip it on, and I imagine there shouldn't be any problems. Okay, of course, when I tightened it, this is now facing up, so eventually I'll just take this off, but that's open, that's closed. So, I don't think we should have any leaks. Let's see. Yeah, it looks good. So, this will probably take another five minutes to reach pressure. Then we'll see if we got any leaks. Um, ooh, it gets warm. Well, I don't hear any leaks out there. I do hear a leak out here. I can get. Well, note to self. Go over all the uh, All right, that 
that probably should have been I imagine they check this stuff from the factory but maybe they don't I don't hear anything now yep all right cool we're good looks like 150 I think it should be a little bit higher I'll have to see how that works it's supposed to I think it's supposed to be 175 so I don't know if you got to change something in here where it cuts off I imagine you do so I don't know how that works I'll have to look at the manual plenty of air pressure all right cool so minor annoyances with tightening stuff up at least this doesn't leak and nothing's leaking up there from what I can hear. Definitely gets warm compressing all that air. This thing is fast. I mean, my old 30 gallon takes from zero, seven minutes to, to get to uh, 125 PSI. So this thing, I. I'll have to do a stopwatch. I think five minutes or so from zero to 150. It's pretty impressive. All right, cool. That's the air compressor. Appreciate you watching. It's always good to have a nice one in your shop. You're gonna use it a lot for all kind of stuff, especially with that plasma cutter. I'll have no problems using the plasma cutter with this thing, that's for sure. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.